but the wait, does he have more teeth? He looks like he has more teeth. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers The Last Night Turbo Changer, Grimlock. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So at the front here, we have Grimlock. His name is Grimlock. Look, it's from a movie. And up top here, we have a nice image of Grimlock, all like grr. Grr. And he is a turbo changer with the knight armor, the armor del Chevalier, el armadura de caballero, and the armadura de cavalero. I don't know languages. Now on this side of the box, Grimlock. On the bottom, words and things. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shots and your instructions and your cross sales. Warning! Don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. That's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along here, we have Turbo Change Out Grimlock. And again, another very simple figure, um, as the Turbo Changers are. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. I thought I'd give him a try since I tried out the Megatron. I was like, eh, I'll try out Grimlock too. Let's see how this goes. So let's get in close here so we can see the details. Actually, some nice detail here on the head. Got his teeth all done. And done in various shades of gray. With some silver, got his eyes there picked out in red. Actually, detailing wise, he looks pretty good. Got some silver there. Got some silver here on his hips. Got his tail. He does have a, uh, a helmet <laughs> hanging off of his tail. Yeah, sure. <laughs> why not? There I say, why not? And his big old stomping feet there. Uh, yeah, not a whole lot to it. I'm articulation wise, his little arms can rotate around and his feet can swivel. That's pretty much all the articulation you're going to get out of this guy. Now for comparison, here he is with the Voyager Grimlock. You can see it is pretty much a Voyager sized. So there you have that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty pretty much it for the uh, first T-Rex mode here. His head came undone, but there you go. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So the first thing you want to do, you do want to make sure that you do have the two halves of his head split because they do peg together. And if you don't split that, the gimmick won't work. So uh, once you have that undone, basically all you do is you just grab his tail and you bring it up like that. And things will just kind of start to split and come undone. And the tail will clip in right there to lock everything into place. And voila, there you have Grimlock in robot mode. You can take his little dino arms here, just bring them up and out of the way. And that's it. He's a robot. Yay. <laughs> and yeah, it, it, hey. <laughs> that's all there is to it. As simple as you can get. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at the head sculpt. It's actually a pretty nice head sculpt there. You got some black there, some red. You got some silver there for the mouth plate. They even paints it in the... Uh, Little eyes there on the T-Rex head. Yeah, you got some silver paint there. And some black. And everything else we saw in Dino Mode. And the back here. This this panel back here does flip up. I don't know if there's a reason for that, but the instruction I mean the instructions are all of three steps, so they don't show you anything else. So I don't know if there's a reason for this opening up, but that opens up because reasons. I don't I don't know. I, I don't know. But articulation-wise, uh, not a whole lot of articulation. Everything's spring-loaded, so nothing's really going to hold the pose. The only real articulation you get is the elbows, which give you 90 degrees of a bend. And again, you can spin his feet around. And there you go. The instructions do say something about rotating his feet, but I don't really understand what's going on. I don't know if they're supposed to be like this for robot mode or something, but the pictures have them like this. I don't know. I, I don't know. There you go. Robot mode. Yay! <laughs> so there you have that. <laughs> have a comparison! Oh wait, before we get down to comparisons, we do actually have to show off the uh, the, the, the knight armor gimmick. And uh, you just push this little black button right here. And you do want to make sure that the T-Rex the heads are kind of out of the way. Otherwise, they'll kind of bump into the helmet here. So you just push the button and boop, there you go. And he has his weird helmets there with horns and things. Got some green paint in there, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's 
That actually doesn't look that bad, but it's still just weird. But actually, yeah, it doesn't look, doesn't look bad. I, I, I can work with that. I can work with that. But I think that's still just going to stay right back there. <laughs> so there you have that. Now for comparison. Here he is with the Voyager Grimlock. So you can see how they look together. So there you have that. Here he is with Voyager Optimus Prime. So you can see how they look together. There you go. And here he is with the Turbo Changer Megs. Just so you can see how they scale with one another. And there you have that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Turbo Changer Grimlock. Now, there's something I want to talk about because I was legitimately disturbed by the comment section when I reviewed uh, this guy right here. Um, because there were people getting into legit arguments about these figures, the Turbo Changers. This is simpler figures in general. And um, just to make something perfectly clear, this is not the entire line. This is not the only thing that is being offered to us. We are still getting deluxes. We're still getting voyagers. We're still getting leaders. This is not the only thing that is being presented to us for this line or any line, really. But people are literally flipping out and acting like this is the only thing that Hasbro is giving us. No, they're not. And I think this has as much right to exist as anything that is being sold in a toy store. Am I personally offended or insulted by this? No, I'm not. Why? Because at the end of the day, it's a stupid, useless piece of plastic little robot man, and I have better things to do than be insulted by a stupid, useless piece of plastic little robot man. I, I don't think this is Hasbro calling me dumb. I don't think this is Hasbro calling kids dumb. I think this is Hasbro saying, hey, here's another option. Here's another play pattern. This is variety. And I don't think there's a single thing wrong with that. And I know there's always going to be somebody that says, well, my eight-year-old can transform Revenge of the Fallen Leader Prime in two minutes with his eyes closed. Well, good for him. He's not everyone. <laughs> That's the thing people need to understand. Some people love the complicated stuff, can't wait to get the complicated stuff, live for the complicated stuff, but not everybody can wrap their heads around the complicated stuff. Some people do prefer the simpler stuff. I personally do prefer the simpler stuff. Not this simple, but I do like the figures that I can transform a little quicker, you know? Stuff like Revenge of the Fallen Leader Prime, stuff like, you know, uh, G Creations, Ultra Maximus, like stuff like that. They're cool, but ultimately they're toys I end up not really messing with because I don't want to spend half an hour transforming a Transformer. But I'm not everyone, and I know that my preferences are not everybody's preferences, and you should realize that your preferences are not everyone's preferences. And you have to realize that not everybody can wrap their head around these things. Like, I am not exaggerating in any way, shape, or form. I'm not lying. This is totally true. I have friends that are my age. I'm going to be 38 next month, by the way. I have friends that are my age with college degrees that have brought me their kids' Transformers and said, can you transform this thing because I don't know what I'm doing. No lie. <laughs> I mean, and they're not dumb. They are well-to-do, very intelligent men, but for some reason cannot wrap their head around these things. And not everybody can. I mean, that's just the way of it. Not everybody's brains work the same way. Some people can grasp things very quickly. Some people can grasp things maybe a little slower. Some people can't grasp, grasp them at all. Doesn't mean they're dumb. It's just the way people's brains work. There have been times when Lori has been sitting on the couch with a transformer in her lap with the, with the instructions in her lap. And then she looks at me and she goes, I don't know what I'm doing because, you know, again, not everybody can get it. Not everybody can grasp, you know, how a transformer works. And even with the instructions in front of them are just lost. And believe me, I know that feeling. There have been many times, not with toys, but with other things where I'm looking at the instructions and I'm just like, uh, this might as well be Chinese because I don't understand a word. You know, it happens. Not everybody can grasp everything. So to sit there and say, well, everybody loves the complicated stuff and nobody likes the simple stuff. No, that's not true. That's not true at all. Believe it or not, these figures have actually been moving pretty well. There's not a whole lot of these in my Toys R Us. And when uh, on launch day, there were a lot of these on the shelf and there aren't that many left on the shelf right now. So these are moving. People are buying these. Whether you like it or not, people are buying these. So, you know, people apparently do want them. So like I said, I'm not insulted by this. This doesn't anger me in any way because at the end of the day, it's a little 
plastic robot man and there are way more important things to invest your emotion into than a little plastic robot man not being the way you want it. You know, and th the moral of the story is really just, 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 just get a grip. Get a grip. It ain't, it ain't that serious. It's really not that serious. That, if, if you don't like this, all you have to do is just not buy it. Simple as that. Very simple concept. But there you go. I'm done rambling. But if you would like any last night toys of your own, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Transformers Movie Toys playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers, the last night Turbo Changer Grimlock, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! Yeah! Onward, Grimlock! Onward to victory! Why me, Grimlock, not get paid to do this? Your justice is its own reward! Not when me, Grimlock, have to lug you around! Hey, are you calling me fat? I'm not fat! I've been working out, you know!